Hi, I'm Maria Bailey of Mom TV, and I'm here at Toy Fair 2017, previewing some of the amazing things that you're going to find uh, when it comes to toys on Amazon. And you know, coding is something that we all know as adults. You're like, if you're, particularly if you're an older mom, you're like, what? Your your brain kind of starts going. As a younger mom, maybe you're a millennial who has a young child, you're all about like, yes, they've got to learn coding. Well, Patty is here to tell us about a new um, game called Future Coders, right? Right. It's a, a, an activity line, four things in the line. And what we're doing is we're trying to prepare children to not be daunted when they get to first grade and learn coding, and the parents as well, and give them the skill set they need to learn to code. So each kid has its own individual way of teaching them how to do problem solving, sequencing. In this one, we have Bunny Bot. And Bunny is a line following bot. So we always start them off with all of the kits with a very easy level because we want it to be a positive experience. We want them to accomplish right away. But then we move them through levels. And in this one, there's 20 levels. So here we have a level card. And we're, the, the child's supposed to set up Bunny's garden how they see it on the card. So in this case, they stay away from obstacles, but then they make these fun features that Bunny has to include in her path to get to the carrot. After they set up her garden, they then take these direction tiles and they plan Bunny's path as best they can to get to the carrot. Once they set up everything, they press Bunny's start and she will follow their path to get to the carrot. Now, she's a prototype, but her finished bunny will get to the carrot and hop a few times, and then the child knows they did it right. If they didn't do it right, then they have to go back. We encourage them in the instructions to debug their program whoops, and see where they went wrong. So in this case, they're learning to code by a black line. And then we move over here to pop in pictures, where now they're learning to code with colors and shapes. So in here, they'll open this up, spill out the tiles, put their code card here. Again, this is a more complicated one, but we do start them off easy where it's uh -huh. just two colors. Then they take the robot's arm, which has a suction cup action, and they start reading their code left to right, filling up the body with the correct color tiles. Once they're done and they think they have it right, they turn the code card over and see if it matches. If it doesn't, then they have to go back and see, ooh, where did I where did I go wrong? How can I debug my program? Wow. So here it's shapes and colors, and there it's a line. And then we have cube stackers, where they become a bot builder. So they get eight of these cubes that they construct and a lot of fun feature pieces that they make. And then they get a code card on how to build their bots. And if they follow the arrows and set their, their cubes up on the grid the way they show you here, and then you start to move your cubes according to the code. So here you go up and over, and you do nothing, and then you go up, up, and over, and your bot should match. And we start easy, nice and easy, and move to much more complicated bots where they're using all eight cubes, spinning and turning and having all sorts of fun. And that's, and then we have one more. And this is our most active one. We have robot races. So in this one, they become the robot and the programmer. So they make a robot hat, and they wear it. <laughs> and then they get level cards here. And they get this huge 5x5 five five mat that is folded up now. But, and they do a start and a stop, and they set their grid up exactly as they see it here. These are obstacles they have to avoid if it's on, on their grid. And they get fun action robot spots. So if they, those are on their grid, they have to include them in their path. And they get to be silly now. So if they get to the robot dance, they have to like do the dance. And right. So they set their grid up, they wear their hat, they get on the start, they press the timer, and they start making their path from start to stop with these directions. That's fantastic. And when they get to the stop, they stop the timer, and then they look back and they say to themselves, can I make it shorter? Can I make it better? Can I do a little bit this way, a little bit that way? So they learn how to compete against themselves and to make the program better. And that's another way of teaching the children. And, and, and so if you have a future coder, which you should have, then you'll want to check out Future Coders from Alex Brands. I'm Maria Bailey of Mom TV.